Hello, today I would like to show app image system integration using my experimental Go-based app image D daemon. To demonstrate this, I am running a live system of Ubuntu 19.04. This is an unchanged live ISO. I have just booted the live system as it is from the Ubuntu website. No changes so far. So to enable app image integration, first of all, I go to this GitHub repository, go app image. There, I go to release, continuous build, and download app image D app image. Save file. Once it's downloaded, go to the downloads folder, right click, Go to Properties, Permissions, Allow Executing File as Program, close the window, double click. Now this is the last time you had to manually set an app image executable, because from now on app image D will do it for you. As a matter of fact, on this system I already have a couple of app images. So by just launching this it says edit 199 applications. And it also informs me about which applications can be updated. So if I now go to the start menu, which takes a long time by the way, and this is not the fault of AppImage, <laughs> you can see there is quite a lot of stuff here. Uh, if I type AppImage, it shows some of the app images. Actually, these are so many that it doesn't show all of them. But um, as you can see, the integration worked quite nicely. Now, one advantage of the app image system, of course, is that you can keep multiple versions of the same application. And as I'm developing app image D, you can see that I have quite many versions of it here on the system. Now, notice that not only have the applications been added to the start menu, uh, there are also additional options I can now uh, use here by right-clicking. If I right-click, I get, for example, Extract to Aptor, Update and Open Containing Folder. Now, for example, if I choose Update, then the App Image Updater application starts and attempts to update the application. This is running now. And now the update has successfully been completed. And now I could run the updated version. I'm not doing this right now. So basically that's already it. If I now refresh this downloads window here, you can see the applications also have the correct icons without me having to do anything special. Now if I download another app image, say app image tool, I just click here, I say save file. I could also do this automatically from now on if it lets me. I don't know why I can't select this here. That's a bit strange. A bug maybe. Uh, click OK. Now it has downloaded the app image and it says edit application and fully automatically this application has now been integrated in the system and if I go to this directory you can see that also the icon automatically appeared. This is system integration with App Image D. Now this can also do some more interesting tricks. I mentioned that you can be notified about updates. Uh, automatically. So if I go to this notification bar here, it says update available. App image tool can now be updated to a new version. Uh, this is something I'm working on right now. Uh, it uses push notifications using MQTT in the background. And I think this will be a very exciting addition to the app image ecosystem. Let me know what you think and if you would like to contribute to the AppImage project, you're very welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.